it's possible. I mean, they could take a late round flyer. Basically, with these late round picks, you're you're taking guys that you don't want to have to fight other teams for in free agency. So these will be really developmental guys. So we'll see what they do. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, and then Ryan Switzer. Um, Ryan Switzer, like I've already expressed my my excitement of him. But I think this is a, a wide receiver that we, we desperately needed. It was a need. Uh, he can catch. He has good hands. Um, I think he's going to come in and play, I think, day one. And like you mentioned, this may be the last of of uh, Lucky Whitehead. But um, what's your thoughts on Switzer? Did you have him, uh, have the Cowboys picking him? Or maybe what receiver did you have maybe the Cowboys picking um, I, I, myself, I didn't, uh, you know, I, I have seen some of him, you know, during my draft reviews and things like that, but, um, it's not a guy that they brought in for a 30 visit, but, um, obviously they worked them out at some point that news wasn't revealed a lot. Some of these guys, the news is kept hush hush, you know, the player won't give up anything. So this looks like that situation here. And, uh, that's good for us. You know, I have a thing the Cowboys are going to use him here. And we're going to put pressure on these secondaries in the NFC East. Um, we're going to probably see some new wrinkles here from Scott Linehan. He's going to find a way to get him the ball. I mean, this guy had production increased each season there at, at uh, North Carolina. Punt returns. This guy's versatile. They they really like him. You know, you don't take a fourth round pick on a guy for nothing here unless you're going to use the guy here. You know what I mean? So he's going to do something for the Cowboys here. I'm excited about the pick. Definitely. Definitely. All right. So I don't know if you, I don't know if we touched on Jordan Lewis. I think we talked about his off the field issues, but uh, uh, another guy from Michigan and what, what more can you, can you ask for than a guy that's playing from a, from a pro style coach? Um, I think this adds cornerback depth, which we desperately needed with us letting Brandon Carr go. uh, Also, with us letting uh, Morris Claiborne go. So th- this was a, a need pick. And I think, again, like we've been talking, we may, we, we've done a good job in this, in this particular draft at drafting with the need. Uh, so Jordan Lewis, uh, what, what's, what's your take? I don't know. I can't remember if you already shared on that or not, but what's your take on Jordan Lewis on the field? Yeah, Jordan Lewis, I think the Cowboys had a, a, some more inside track on him. Obviously, Greg Jackson, um, you know, our, our DB coach, he was there with Harbaugh. So he knows the player intimately. He knows his, his traits and knows the ins and outs of the player, what he can do, what he can't do. Is he a hard worker? How's the work ethic? That kind of thing. Taking him here in the third round uh, confirms that for me. You know, Greg Jackson, a lot of these coaches that have worked in the collegiate program and then they come into the NFL, they give you the inside track. I think Greg Jackson did that for us here. So another good player here, productive player. Uh, obviously the Cowboys, you know, I, I discussed this here on, on, uh, on my site, the under Garrett, they love taking players from the big 10 on defense. And here we go again. They did it all over this draft here with, with, um, you know, taco, and then his teammate, Jordan Lewis. So they like these guys. They like guys that come from big programs. Um, they're getting it done. Yeah, they definitely are. And I think that just proves that the 360 of Michigan, the complete turnaround of Michigan being the the OK team to being a top five team. So big ups to Harbaugh and what he's doing. I'm, I'm uh, very, very... Uh, excited and proud of, of what Michigan is doing. Shout out to Jelani J.B. Bodie. He's a Michigan fan, so um, I know he's happy about a lot of the Michigan players getting drafted. Um, so, one other thing here before I let you go real quick. Jason Witten in the news saying that he is going to kind of do a year-by-year basis. Uh, he's he's uh, deciding on to sign a contract extension Bill Parcells comes out and says he should retire. Uh, I think Jason Witten should play for however long he wants, but we do need to groom a backup. That is the biggest thing. Uh, But what's your thoughts? I don't know if you heard about this story, but what's your thoughts on Jason Witten 
uh, him taking it year by year? And should he retire? Yeah, I, I'm not surprised by it at all. I think what he's hoping and, you know, obviously what we're hoping is we get this man a Super Bowl ring and let him ride off into the sunset yes. as one of the best Dallas Cowboys that has ever donned the star. And I'm not surprised by it, but, you know, he uh, he's done a lot for us. One of the toughest guys that's ever played, man. He's just an amazing tight end. He definitely, at this point, has the right to, to make this decision. The Cowboys, they'll accommodate him. And I think the contract they did with him uh, lets them do that. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree. All right. So, Joe, appreciate you for coming on. Love talking Cowboys with you, Cowboys draft. It, it's it's the it's the most wonderful time in the year if you're a draft fan, if you're an NFL fan. Uh, so appreciate you. Everybody, go to CowboysBlog.net. If you are or are not a Cowboys fan, go there. Uh, great articles, great content. Also, uh, go on YouTube, CowboysBlog.net. He, he's doing some amazing videos every single week. And then Cowboys Blog Net on Twitter. So appreciate you, Joe. Yes, and, sir, uh, man. I man. appreciate you, Ben. I appreciate it very much, man. Yeah, always. No problem. Have a good rest of the weekend, and uh, we'll definitely be talking in the future. All right. Go Cowboys. Yes, Cowboys Nation. Have a good one. Hey. All right. So talking Cowboys with my man Joe, CowboysBlog.net. Appreciate you, Vince. He said, great show today. Appreciate the love as always. Getting a little heated in the chat room right now. Uh, Mocha Bella says, Big L, the Dolphins didn't make the playoffs this year. Did your Bears make it? Nope. (laughs) Uh, Big L says, Mocha, Google, did the Heat make the playoffs? No. Big L, uh, Mocha comes back and says, Big L, I do recall your Bulls gone fishing like the Hawks. Big L says, Mocha, Google, <laughs> did the Bulls make the playoffs? Yes. So getting a little heated in here, always love the debate between Miss Mocha Bella and Big L. They go back and forth. All right, so I wanted to touch on, before I conclude the show, I got to touch on which Tar Heels have been drafted. And it's been heavy Tar Heels for this draft and I am excited as always so let me go down the list here of the players that got picked from North Carolina obviously the number one guy was the great Mitchell Trubisky Mitchell Trubisky aka Mitch Trubisky was one of the guys that got picked Big shout out to Big L. Congratulations on that. Ryan Switzer in the fourth. Big shout out to him. TJ Logan in the fifth. Running back. I'm very excited about what he's going to bring to the table. Also out there, there is still Elijah Hood. Looks like he is still out there. He has not been drafted yet. Elijah Hood is a top running back. He is going to be a running back to watch for in the NFL. Mark my words. Also, uh, Nas Jones, Nas Jones, he is a player, defensive tackle, um, third round pick. He is a player to watch out for. Do not sleep on him. And then Matt Collins, 6'4", 221, got drafted by the Eagles. Uh, I'm mad that he went to the Eagles, but I'm happy for him because he got drafted, but I I was really hoping that he was going to somehow fall in the Cowboys' hands. But do not fear, Cowboys fans, because we did get Ryan Switzer. I'm excited about him. So there's still some players from the North Carolina Tar Heels that I think will get picked at some point in time. Elijah Hood, I see him getting picked. Buck Howard, another 6'4 guy. John Heck, offensive tackle, and then Lucas Crawley. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for those remaining players that I believe will get picked in the NFL draft. So I wanted to to also touch on Adrian Peterson going to the Saints. 
Adrian Peterson, does he still have some left? Will he be able to, to contribute for the Saints? Will he get injured? There's a lot of question marks right there, but I do think he's going to come in and contribute day one. Uh, they uh, The Saints also drafted Alvin Kamara from Tennessee, so he, it's not like he's he's going to have to come in day one and all pressure is going to be on AP. I think they, they got some pieces around him. So also Drew Brees, don't forget him. Also, Marshawn Lentz is official. He is now a part of the Raiders. Congratulations to him being back in the town. Antonio Wilborn says Eagles. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. And if you guys did not hear about the guy that came up and did the Jets pick, (laughs) uh, let me find out what this guy's name was. But a uh, big issue right there, my friend. If you cannot spell Jets, you should not be making the pick for the Jets. This guy, he said J E T E. J E T E Jets. This is former fullback Tony Richardson. I feel sorry for the guy. Now, the hate was real in Philly. When Drew Pearson came up and did the Cowboys pick, there were so many boos, so many boos out there. Like the hate is so real. And I understand because the Eagles will not pan out to be anything this year. I'm going to go ahead and speak it right now. Speak it into existence. They will not make the playoffs this year. I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. Eagles will not make the playoffs this year. Um, But the hate was so real. And I got to give it to Drew Pearson because he stood up there and he said, Thank you, Eagles, for allowing me to play in the NFL and the longevity that I had. To me, that was a dig. To me, that was shade over there because, obviously, I guess he must have torched the Eagles during his day. So, I think that that was that was just a crazy sight to see. Uh, but this draft has been interesting. It's been very, very... I think uh, it's been like a spectacle because they they're having the picks, the picks called from like all over the world, not necessarily just here. And all of these people that they have making these picks, just make sure that you can pronounce the person's name. Samaji P. Ryan, who got picked to the Redskins. That pick was called by, I think his name is James Ely or something Ely. He's an actor. And he gets up and he says, Samaje Parayan. Like, first, at least look up the name. At least look up the pronunciation. I mean, you're famous. At least call the guy and ask him how to pronounce his name. Don't get up there and say something that doesn't even remotely sound like the name. I understand you want to make it fun. You want to make it inclusive. You want to have all different types of guys call out the picks. And that's all good. But pronounce the name right. Come on. Pronounce the name right. Antonio Wilborn says, Eagles going to beat the Cowboys at least once this year. Y'all got the whole game messed up. (laughs) I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, I'll give you that. Because the Eagles always play the Cowboys tough. So I'll give you at least one. But I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. All right, let's let's look at NBA here. Larry Bird steps down. There was a comment earlier in the show on the chat line. Should Larry is Larry Bird going to suit up for? I believe that was Tyler from the Enough with the BS podcast. I think he said, "Is, is he going to suit up?" I think he said, "Is he going to suit up for Boston or somebody?" Um, but that that was interesting to see Larry Bird step down and step away. I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. I wish uh, Larry Bird the best. I'm assuming he'll probably find a job somewhere because he is Larry Bird. But his GM, his 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 record as a GM has not really been that good. So I don't know. I don't know what's what's going to happen with our our man Larry Bird, one of the best players in NBA history. A top-